Look on Eyewitness News tonight. produced on Broadway, honey. So, did you cast the female lead? Uh-huh. Is she good? Is she pretty? Answer the second question first. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love you, too. I miss you, darling. All right, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Was that Ted? No, that was Elvis. <laughs> that con must have cost him a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> so, how's Dad's play going? Oh. He says the first two acts are fine, but he has to trim a little off the end. Speaking of which, how's your diet going? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I can't watch commercials anymore. Even the cat food's starting to look good to me. Mom, is all of this really worth it just to get into that dress? Yes, yes. It happens to be Dad's favorite, and I intend on wearing it to opening night. I want to look very special. Oh, you'll look special. Skinny woman in a red dress, eating a can of cat food. Well, I only have five pounds to go. So how was band practice? Oh, it was pretty good. Got a couple of new songs. Good. What is that? Ah, uh, this is pecan praline, and sorry, I shouldn't be eating. Oh, no, no, no. That's fine. You go ahead and eat it. Just describe it to me. Slowly. <laughs> Mom, this is turning into Lady Chatterley's ice cream. You're right, honey. Get it out of my sight. Willpower. Yes, willpower. I don't need ice cream. I don't need ice cream because I have delicious, low-calorie rice cakes. It's called the Fat Blaster. I came home from work at lunchtime and I installed it. Excuse me, Tess, but this is my diet and I absolutely draw the line at booby traps. Mom, you wanted me to support you in this and that's why I went on this diet with you. Honey, I appreciate that, but, but you're taking over here. I mean, I don't even know what you're planning for dinner. Well, it's because I wanted to surprise you. I'm making tofu piccata. <laughs> I give up. I have a rice cake. You're going to eat that? That tastes like those things Big Macs come in. Big Macs. No, no. Rice cakes are good. Rice, rice cakes, cakes are, are good. good. Yeah, rice, rice cakes, cakes are, are good. good. Mm. Mm. God. You guys are scary. <laughs> hey, Jake, did you take a $10 bill out of the grocery money? Uh-uh. That was weird. It was just there this morning. Mm. Mm. Hi, Jake. Hi, Tess. Hi, Simon. Hey, Simon, what happened to you? I had a bike accident. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Um, can I talk to you guys? I've got kind of a problem. Yeah. Sure. What is it? It's not a what. It's a who. This kid in my class, Kyle McDermott, he's the one who knocked me off my bike. I thought you said it was an accident. Yeah, I accidentally rode down his block. Oh, well, he's just a bully. Yeah, he knows that. Anyway, he's been picking on me all week. I tried everything to make him leave me alone. Oh, that reminds me. I borrowed this from the grocery money. How come? Thought if I gave him ten bucks, he'd leave me alone. What happened? Apparently, he's not in it for the money. <laughs> Wait till Mom hears about this. Oh, no, please don't tell her. She'll just go down to my school and embarrass me. Don't you have a better idea? 
Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go talk to that little punk. Nobody's going to push my little brother around like Down, that. Down, Spike. Let me just go take care of this. I'll find Kyle and straighten this whole thing out. Where is he? Well, he's probably at the schoolyard. What does he look like? Just look for a two-legged pit bull. <laughs> Simon, now that is a nasty thing to say about any kid. No, that's his dog. <laughs> this is a mean kid. Annie, I really want to thank you for having me to dinner while Sue's away. Oh, it's our pleasure, Bob. Where'd Sue go, anyway? She went to San Diego to see her cousin perform. Oh, I didn't know her cousin was an entertainer. Sort of. He's a clown in a prison rodeo. Oh. Sue's cousin is in prison? It's a white-collar thing, uh, insider trading. Oh. I tell you, when he bolts for that barrel in those floppy shoes with no shoelaces, it's quite a spectacle. <laughs> what chance, you know? You've outdone yourself with this meal tonight. Yeah, was this a feast or what? Even better than the tofu piccata we had last night. And would you believe there's absolutely no cholesterol, no salt, no fat? In fact, there is absolutely no food in this meal whatsoever. <laughs> if you're still hungry, there's plenty more. No. No, no. Uh, really, I, we, I couldn't eat another bite. Okay. You sure? Ooh. As God is my witness. <laughs> Well, you know, Mom, it's like I say. You make a meal event. Good company, good conversation, and instead of just an excuse to eat, you forget you're on a diet. Yeah, honey, you know, I think you're right. I can just feel the pounds coming off. Probably off in search of a decent meal. That was the worst food I have ever eaten. And what were those little tadpole things? Mung beans. I never wanted to eat anything with the word mung in it. Hey, Des. Hey, Jake. Oh, you had Chinese tonight? Yeah, Pamela and I found this great new place on Sunset. Got myself some shumai dumplings. Mm-mm. Oh. So how'd it go with the little maniac? Oh, not so well. MSG gave her a headache and I had to take her home. Blew my whole evening. But I'm talking about Simon's bully. Oh, I took care of that. I found Kyle on the playground trying to feed the pigeons. Really? To a cat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just told him, hey, buddy, you can't just bully Simon just because you're bigger than him. Oh, good work. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, false alarm. Just put something away. Oh, Jake, that reminds me. Will you, will you hide these someplace else? <laughs> Why don't you just throw them away? Oh, no, no, I'm not going to eat them. I, I just like to know that they're around. It's kind of like a safety net. Tess, they're Oreos. Just say no. <laughs> Jake, please just hide them, and, and it's got to be someplace really ingenious, almost diabolical, unfindable, okay? Got it. How does it look? Kind of like someone punched in the eye. I was afraid of that. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. Wait a minute, where are you going? Come on in here and tell us how your first soccer practice went. <laughs> What's it tell? I mean, we kick the ball, they kick the ball. Everybody kicked the ball. Yeah, then it was over. Well, bye. Wait a minute, Simon. Come here. Let me see your face. Come over here. Oh, my goodness, honey. Where did you get that shiner? Did you get hit in the head with the ball? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You got hit with the ball. <laughs> Simon, you tell me what happened. Kyle McDermott gave it to me. You mean somebody beat you up, honey? Why? Ah, Kyle McDermott beats up everybody. He does alphabetically. Oh. <laughs> and so it was Simon's turn? Yep. Last week he beat up Jimmy Peterson. Well, oh, that's just ridiculous. H comes before P in the alphabet. He's a bully, not a genius. Oh. <laughs> honey, look at your face. Oh, sweetie, maybe I should call a doctor. Uh, Annie? Yeah? I am a doctor. <laughs> Let me look at it. Yeah, it's a slight contusion. No real damage. We'll put a little ice on it. It'll be fine. Say, it's been a while since I made a house call. Nice job of handling Kyle, Jake. Wait a minute. You knew about this and you didn't tell me? Well, Mom, I thought it would just upset you. Well, you're damn right I'm upset. I thought I could talk to him. By the way, Jake, Kyle says if you want some, you know where to find him. 
Well, this is just outrageous. I refuse to let some punk terrorize my son. It's okay, Mom. I'm not afraid of him. <laughs> not you. Not you, Simon. Honey, first thing tomorrow, I'm going to go down to school and I'm going to have a talk with your principal. Oh, see, this is why I didn't want you to know about this. If word gets out that I need my mommy to protect me, I'll be the king wuss of the whole school. I'll just stay out of his way, okay? I don't know, Simon. When I was your age, I had my bully, Chuck the Truck Weisberger. <laughs> he used to beat me up every Friday at 3.45, like clockwork, So one day I put an end to it. And you fought back? No. I stole his watch, threw up his whole schedule. Well, I'll just avoid him. Wait, what about that dance Saturday night? Now, you promise you take Melissa, and Kyle's definitely going to be there. Then I just won't go to the stupid dance. Look, would everybody just please leave me alone? I really don't want to talk about this. Come on, Raffi. Sorry, Mom. Maybe we should have told you about that. Yes, you should have told me about that. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going to call Kyle's parents and I'm going to straighten this whole thing out. They probably don't even know what's going on. You watch. I'll put an end to this. Now, where's Simon's class list? out of my window. You know, your mom called my parents and I'm in trouble. And if I'm in trouble, you're in trouble. Big trouble. You show up at that dance tomorrow and you're a dead man. When was the last time you visited Dallas? So long. Um, what do you do again? Yeah. Oh, you want to try to get the white balls oh, yeah. in that hole? Yeah. But there's always all those little bumps in the way. Hence the name, bumper pool. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, Simon, honey. I'm sorry. I, I thought calling Kyle's parents would help. It's okay. So, you're not going to the dance, huh? Well, should I? So Kyle can tie my tongue into a knot? Oh, sweetheart, <laughs> he can't do that. You can try. No, don't worry about it, Mom. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a wimp. You're going to be a wimp? Absolutely. You know, it's the first thing in my life that I feel that I'm really good at. It'll be great. I mean, I never have to fight for a parking space. 27 items in the express lane? No problem. Go right ahead. I've got all day. I am a wimp. So what you're saying, Simon, is that you're going to allow this bully to rule your life. No, no, no. I'm going to let everybody rule my life. I'm going to get pushed around by Mormons. Simon, that's no way to live. You can't hide from life. And like it or not, Kyle is a part of your life right now. You can't avoid him forever. Don't have to. Just till next year. When I'll be in eighth grade and he'll still be in seventh. <laughs> all right. All right. That takes care of him. But honey, the world is going to be full of Kyle. Oh, no, there's a rosy picture. <laughs> Maybe I should just fight the guy. I mean, at least I can go down swinging. No, no, Simon. Then you're reduced to his level. You see, there's always a way of dealing with violence without becoming violent. What am I, Gandhi? <laughs> Well, maybe. I mean, uh, until he stood up to the British, he was just another name in the New Delhi phone book. Mom, they shot him. All right, bad example. <laughs> but I know one thing. A bully like Kyle wants one thing from other people, and that's their fear. And if you don't give that to him, then you're automatically stronger than he is. You know, you're right. I'm going to go to that dance. I'm going to call Melissa and tell her that I'm coming. Really? Well, good for you, honey. I think that's the right decision because, you know, Simon, you got to stand up for yourself, honey. You want me to go with you, sweetheart? <laughs> no. Boy, could I use a hot fudge sundae. <laughs> Where can you be? I've looked at the loot everywhere. you got to be right here someplace. <sighs> 
Oh, hello, boys. <laughs> Where did you get those cookies? What cookies? Those cookies. Everything clings to this dress. Oh, really? I've been eating mung beans, Tess. I have drunk so much water that when the moon is full, I'm certain I'll become taller. And you, you have been hoarding Oreos? No, no, I haven't. I, I just stumbled upon them. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, if the Marines had been this thorough in Panama, they would have found Oriega. Well, I didn't eat any. I swear to God, I was, I was bottling them. Just open your mouth. What? I said, open your mouth. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Open your mm -mm. mouth, Tess. I'm telling you, open it. Ah! Either you swallowed an Oreo or Simon's Aunt Barb. <laughs> You're right, Mom. I'm sorry. I was weak. I couldn't help myself. Oh, no. Honey, I understand. Believe me, I do. Now give me the cookies. Oh, no, Mom. Yes, be stronger yes, than I was. Not yes. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Give me the cookies. Oh, yes. Make me use these. Mom, you'd assault your firstborn over a snack food? If it comes to that. Now give me those cookies. All right, fine. Hope you're done with those. We can start it on these. Hi, huh? what about here? Give me. Oh, <laughs> you're right, Tess. You shouldn't get crazy over a bunch of Oreos. But there's nothing that says we can't smell them. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, we can smell them. Great. Line them up real pretty, honey. Yeah, they do. Line them up real pretty. Okay. There we go. Okay. okay. Uh-oh. <sighs> oh, that's very attractive, ladies. Why don't you get a grip? Huh? I, I'm sorry. I'm just nervous because Simon's at this dance. I always eat when I'm nervous. Oh, that's very healthy, Mom. You're right. At least I have an excuse. I'm pathetic. <laughs> Let me ask you guys something. Do you like the way you're behaving? No. no. Did you like the way you were before? I did. You're right. You're right, Jake. I think that this whole crash diet's ridiculous. I think that what we should do is eat less and exercise. There's a concept. You know it's crazy, but it just might work. Then we get out a regular meal and just have half. Yeah, we could split it. Yours has more creamy filling. Had. Had more creamy filling. All right. All right. So now you've had your cookie. Do you feel better? No, I'm not enjoying it. Still worried about Simon being at that dance. I... I gave him some advice, and I'm not sure if I was right or not. I have this feeling I should go down there. No. No, Simon can handle himself. Yeah, he'll be He's okay. He's a big boy, smart no, that's kid. That's right. Yeah. I'll just wait and see what happens after he comes home. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> Simon, is something bothering you? Not yet. Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Cutler. Cutler. Having fun? Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Cutler. Good. <laughs> God, I love to see young people having a good time. Okay, carry on. Just don't forget the little video we saw in hygiene. <laughs> oh, Mom, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I asked you first, what are you doing here? Well, I'm standing behind a ficus, aren't I? <laughs> Mom, if Simon sees you, he's going to be crushed. Well, he's not going to see me. I move like a cat. And besides, I couldn't wait till he got home to find out what happened. Now, Mom, you're not going to jump out if he gets in trouble, are you? Mom? I might. Well, good, because I don't want to be alone. Simon, if you don't want to stay here, I can call my dad. Yeah, that might help. He's pretty big. <laughs> what? Oh, never mind. Um, do you like some punch? Sure. I'll be right back. Okay. Excuse me. There's no excuse for you, Harlow. Kyle. Now, where do you think you're going with my punch? Oh, enjoy.
That's it. I'm going to twist that kid's head around like a radar. Oh, no, Mom. Is that letting me handle this? Why don't we go dance? Now, hold it. Now, maybe I want to dance with your girlfriend, huh? Well, when you decide, we'll... I've decided. And I do want to dance with her. Okay. What? That's it? You would let me dance with her? Just like that? Well, you have to ask her first. Well, then I will. And what if she says no? What happens then? Oh, that's pretty big talk, Harlow. Especially from a guy that offered me ten bucks not to beat him up. And by the way, I want it. Now. No. What'd you say? I said no. I think. Are you gonna fight me? No, but if you want to beat me up, beat me up. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to give you money. But most of all, I'm not going to be afraid of you. Are you losing it, Harlow? <laughs> Could be. Uh, just wait a moment. <clears throat> what are you doing, son? <laughs> Fighting him won't stop him. Giving him money won't stop him. So he beats me up. At least I'm not a coward because I'm not afraid of him. Tell you what, Carl. After you beat up Simon, you better beat me up too. Because I'm not afraid of you either. After you beat them up, you're going to have to beat me up too. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like nobody's afraid of you anymore, Kyle. Now what are you going to do? Uh, you guys aren't worth beating up. You know, some kids are just born leaders. Come along, Catwoman. Our work here is done. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back. Love it. New pledge for a touchable shine. So, Simon, how did the dance go last night? It went okay. Oh, but it was so embarrassing when I had to dance with Lisa Fishman. She's like a foot taller than me. My head came up to her chest. <laughs> Simon, <clears throat> you have so much to learn, my friend. Okay, now, Mom, I saw yeah. this on public access yeah. called Creative Stress Release. Yeah. Just okay. let go. Yeah. Just let go. <laughs> oh, look, it's Guns N' Roses. <laughs> No, no, dude, dude, they're axle robersizing. Okay, now, Mom, now we're warmed up. We'll do 25 sit-ups. No, I, I can't. Oh, yes, I'm you can. Busy. Yes, you can. Think thin. Think healthy body. No, I can't. Yeah, think strength and rejuvenation. Think Dad's opening night. I can't, honey. Think about the beautiful blonde actress he cast as the part of the Dairy Maid. <laughs> and one. <laughs> everyday pain, nothing works better. And for your cold this winter, now try Tylenol cold medication. Friday night, Whoopi Goldberg and Gene Stapleton in the middle of the desert in this bizarre restaurant. Well, not too bizarre, just different. Baghdad Cafe, followed by Sugar and Spice, Fridays on CBS. It's bizarre, but it's good bizarre.